Hey, this is Brett from Motivicity. We're here at M1 Concourse for Speed Ring 2017, powered by Vibrant and ARP. The Speed Ring is really something special. It's a two-day track battle where we've got, on Saturday, traditional time attack competition. So this event is a, a time attack event. So it's essentially a qualifying lap. You're shooting for the best overall lap time. So that kind of means you get to set the car up a little differently than you would with, you know, maybe wheel-to-wheel -wheel races or endurance or something. It's, it's all one lap, everything you got right now, you know, everything on the table. The really cool thing about Time Attack is you're seeing drivers show off the best of themselves. Yes, they're competing against each other as drivers, but really they're trying to prove themselves against the clock. You can really see what, what they can do. Generally, Time Attack has always kind of been an unlimited, just whatever you can do, make it work, fastest single lap. It sucked me in because it's over the top. There's no rules for the most part. You know, big arrow, high horsepower. It's the ultimate proving ground for these one lap machines. So right before Pikes Peak, we dynoed at 1200 wheel horsepower and a little over 900 foot pounds of torque. You know, high horsepower is a really cool thing, but uh, the arrow is really the game changer in this situation. It allows you to use all that horsepower. Otherwise, you're just spinning tires. We're out here because we're the reigning champions of 2016 and uh, in it for the prize money. Something that I think is a little bit unique to speed ring, I don't think anyone's gonna argue with, is the cash payouts. We want to reward those people who put their blood, sweat, and tears into what they do. $1,000 first place prizes, we've got $300 second place prizes. And then for the overall fastest lap of the entire weekend, the person who really takes it all and proves themselves, that's a $10,000 payout for any privateer racer. Added bonus, if you're a Motivicity customer, we're gonna double that and it's $20,000 cash. Uh, $20,000 cash is kind of insane. Nothing like that happens in Time Attack. There's some small events here and there that, that bring a few hundred dollars out, so 20,000, that brings out everybody and you wanna run your A game. Competition is really strong here. We have life here. We wish they could be running a little bit stronger. They've had some, some car problems, um, oil fire, I think. So we diagnosed where, where the issue was, is blowing oil line and caused an engine fire, burning up a bunch of electronics. So I've got the team back there getting ready to go back on track and uh, fix the oil leak, fix the electronics, run the car, set a new lap record. That's kind of the order of operations. So yeah, the competition for this event, it looked uh, very intimidating. You've got Life GTR that came all the way out from Utah and that car, you know, everyone knows how fast that is. I was lucky enough to run with the Can Jam guys up in Canada at the CSCS event two weeks ago and, and just saw how fast they were. The Canadians from Can Jam, their car is incredible. Everything is put together meticulously. All the Can Jam guys are hauling ass. So far things are going pretty good. Uh, we've never been here before, so it was kind of our, our first time out on the track. We were second fastest out of practice this morning. Uh, we took the top spot in qualifying and we've held it ever since. Uh, we've actually bettered our time so far every session and we're hoping to do the same again tomorrow. The competition's fantastic. You've got uh, the Life Motorsports guys out here from the West Coast. You've got Professional Awesome Racing out here. Andy Smetagard's here in a really fast Evo. And then there's a lot of quick Canadians that uh, cross the border to come down here and, and try and take that crown. The weekend's not over, so it's still up for anyone to grab, but right now Can Jams are the guys to beat. Day two, we've got a great toge style shootout where we're pitting uh, platform against platform, driver against driver. Uh, we're doing something different for the speed ring event here. Uh, yesterday was regular time attack. Today is toge battle format. Uh, that's two drivers on course at one time, and it's the job of the lead driver to stretch the gap, and it's the job of the following driver to shrink the gap, and that is how a winner is determined in each battle. They each get a chance to lead the battle. They reverse on their cooldown lap in the middle of the battle, and that is how uh, toge is ran. It's really fun to watch and uh, kind of a different form of time attack. Uh, it's still determined by lap times who wins, but it's much more fun to watch than traditional time attack, which looks more like a lapping session. Okay, the battle was crazy. We were going back and forth. The uh, first round I took, the second after we switched, he got it. I got a little sideways, he got a little sideways. It was back and forth, actually, pretty much the entire time. We lost the first battle of Hellier M1. A bit gutted, but hey, the car did well. I feel like I did my personal best lap time there, so can't complain too much. I've done wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, but there's a whole kind of different challenge where you're going in a time tag kind of basis, trying to pull out the fastest lap time in one lap. That's something 
I've just not been used to, and sadly, you know, the pressure got to me, sadly. Yeah, heart, heart still, heart still pumping, still shaking a little bit, definitely. Uh, Good times. Couldn't ask for any better battle than that. I mean, we were within a few tenths of each other back and forth, so it's definitely a fun battle that I, I really, really want to do this kind of thing again. Car was working really good yesterday, and this is a this is a high risk, high re high reward track, and I touched the wall in turn one yesterday. We were planning on just going home and thought we would check out the awesome Toge battle today. And we realized that we were just hanging around and had nothing to do. And all of a sudden my truck came out and the straps came out and we thought, well, we've got to fix this sometime anyways. And we got it pretty straight. So we've cobbled the bumper back together and the splitter's broken but manageable. And we're gonna just see. I've never run a Toge battle before, so it'll be exciting to see. It sounds really cool, like that you can kind of play a chess game out there on the track. I have some ideas for cars that may be faster than me for how we can beat it out there in the Toge battle. We'll just have to find out if that works. I've done some time attack events, never done a Toge style battle before, so uh, we're excited to see how that goes. My background's road racing, so I'm used to the wheel to wheel competition. Uh, I'm a wheel to wheel racer and a time attack guy, so I think bringing the two worlds together is perfect. It uh, definitely makes for more interesting uh, battles, gives up more track time and uh, gives, gives the spectators and competitors something to look forward to. It definitely makes me push harder when you have someone in front of you, you're obviously always trying to chase them down. And when you got someone behind you, you got that pressure from behind, so you can't really make any mistakes. Toge, it's consistency, really. Uh, you, can't, you can't just have one good lap and then not be able to repeat it. You kind of have to be consistently fast. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you might win one round, but you're gonna lose the next one. We did a little reconnaissance lap there, and the car feels great. I think maybe we made it better. <laughs> You straightened the frame even straighter. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. Honda didn't do this right, so we just made it a little bit better. We'll just get through as many rounds as we can get, hopefully without hitting the wall this time. <laughs> so we just uh, we just went, went on to a toge battle for the very first time. Um, we were up against James in his uh, K2 Type R, and um, unfortunately we finished second in that run. Um, but honestly, it was an amazing run. It was so much fun. I loved it. It was great. I, I would, if, if I could go back out there right now just for one more time, I would. Yeah, we had a major brake failure during uh, one of our battles, and you can see the uh, the result here. Uh, highest speed part of the track uh, had brake sensor failure, um, blew all the fluid past it. I had no brakes at all, so um, skipped across through the grass, tried to gather it up, knew I was going to hit the wall, so I pitched it in uh, ass end first, and that's what we got. Green flag is out. This begins the flyer of battle number two between Daniel O'Donnell in the Professional Awesome Evo and James Houghton in the K-Tuned Integra Type R. Daniel O'Donnell crossing the line followed by James Houghton. Daniel O'Donnell takes it! Daniel O'Donnell of Professional Awesome, your overall unlimited winner here at the Speed Ring 2017. Through mistakes from other teams, through crashes, through we, we worked our way up the bracket and we end up winning the toge battle. Like, didn't expect that, didn't see it coming, so excited. I was just so happy that we were here. All, you know, everyone has helped us so much to get the car back on track today. And here we are, we came to the finals. I, thought, I didn't know if we'd be making it through the first round today. So this is awesome, really happy. We had an off-track incident in one of the toge battles, so that put us out of uh, contention to win that. Uh, but we still came away with fastest time, overall track record, and got a briefcase full of cash and a nice shiny trophy, and the car's all in one piece, so we're happy. We struggled, and uh, we struggled all weekend long. But it's a great event, and I, I hope everybody else had a better time than we did, but I'm still smiling, thinking about next year. I like the toge format. It, it really adds another element to the whole time attack stuff. You know, it, it adds a little bit of wheel-to-wheel -wheel element, um, adds a little bit of pressure to the other drivers. This is new, the new hotness. This is where it's at. We need to do this at other events. Toge is the future. It's uh, it's great, it's exciting. There's uh, people who didn't even understand motorsports that were excited to watch because there was an on-track battle and it was uh, well broadcast, it was well announced, and added another depth to time attack that uh, the scene really needs. 
Oh, I, I think this is this is the future of Time Attack. I really think that because competitors are into it. We've got spectators watching, listening, really engaged, and we've got the cars on display for the entire session. And that means that the drivers can engage with anyone who has interest in the car. I think the fans really loved it. It was a lot of excitement watching, you know, chasers and leaders, and uh, I, I think it was a great show. Had a fantastic time this weekend. Uh, really look forward to the speed ring in 2018. Speed Ring 2017 is in the books. This weekend was crazy. Crazy rivalries, crazy competition, crazy racing, and we're gonna have way more of that in 2018, so look forward to seeing you then.